Hello family, we bless the name of the Lord. We thank him for his goodness. He's a faithful God. As we carry on praying for God to give us reverential fear for him, my passage of scripture today is Proverbs chapter 2, reading from verse 1 right through to verse 5. This is what it says. My son, if you will receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, so that your ear is attentive to skillful and godly wisdom, and apply your heart to understanding, seeking it conscientiously and striving for it eagerly. Yes, if you cry out for insight and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek skillful and godly wisdom as you would silver and search for hair as you would hidden treasures, then you will understand the reverent fear of the Lord that is worshipping him and regarding him as truly awesome and discover the knowledge of God. God, today your word is clear, simple, but I'm sure one that if we are all to assess our lives and to ask ourselves how attentively we have inclined our ears to your wisdom, if we were to ask ourselves how we have sought understanding, if we are to ask ourselves if we have cried out to you for insight, if we have lips, lifted up our voice to you for understanding, Father, I don't know, God, if you'd be able to say concerning us that we have sought you in a manner that has been pleasing to you. As your word says, O oh God, that we are to seek your godly wisdom as we would silver. We are to search for godly wisdom as we would hidden treasures. God, help us in the name of Jesus to be able to do just as your word has said to us. Help us to evaluate our lives, Father God Almighty, so that, Lord, if we recognize that in our lives we're pursuing other things, Father God, with all of our hearts, Father, as we would treasure, Lord God Almighty, but we're not doing so, your godly wisdom and counsel and understanding, Father, then, Lord, let there be a change. Help us by your Holy Spirit to put in place practical things, Father, that we will do on a daily basis to seek your will, to seek your counsel in the name of Jesus. For you've told us, O oh God, that we're to walk in reverential fear before you. Father, you know each and every one of us individually. You know the things, O oh God, that consumes us, Lord, in our day. Father God, if we took, take stock of our day, you know the things, Father, that we pursue with eagerness, Lord God Almighty. Father, may you cause us to begin to rethink the things we give priority to on a daily basis, Lord. May you give us, O oh God, the ability, Father God Almighty, to identify things, O oh God, that are getting in the way of us seeking your godly wisdom and counsel, the way, O oh God, has been described in this passage of scripture that we've read. Help us, Holy Spirit, on a daily basis, Father God, to not live to even fulfill the desires of the flesh, for the flesh, O oh God Almighty, will not have us seek your counsel, your wisdom, Father, like we would silver or hidden treasure. So help us, Heavenly Father, that God Almighty, our lives, O oh God, will be so consumed, O oh God, with knowing you, with walking in, with you, O oh God, with understanding your ways, Father God, in the name of Jesus. For you said in your word, my God, that if we hunger and we thirst for you, we will be filled, O oh God. So let us be those who hunger and thirst, O oh God Almighty, for your godly wisdom. That we will be those who cry out, Father God, for insight on a daily basis. We would not only wait when we find ourselves in any challenging situation before we lift up our voice to you, O oh God. May we be those who lift up our voice to you, God Almighty, on a daily basis concerning every area of our lives, that we lift up our voice to you to grant us understanding that comes from your divine throne room in the name of Jesus, that we will be those, O oh God, who have skillful and godly wisdom 
in the name of Jesus, not the wisdom that comes from the world, but wisdom that comes from you. That would help us to order our lives in the way you want us to order our lives. That will cause us, O God Almighty, to understand what it means to walk in reverential fear of you and to be those who demonstrate it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. That when people see us and they speak of us, they will say that indeed we are people who worship you with awe-inspired reverence in the name of Jesus. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to start looking at a new memory verse, which will be our memory verse for the next few days. And it is in Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. For the Lord gives skillful and godly wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. We're personalizing it by saying, the Lord gives me skillful and godly wisdom. He gives me knowledge and understanding. The Lord bless you and I look forward to praying and sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus name. Amen.